Hey guys, James here from Real Bias Gaming. So I wanted to talk to you about a cool app coming out, or out now. It's called Ingress. It's made by Google, essentially. It's actually, it's a location-based mobile game that includes things like Google Maps, Google Earth, Google Locations, and uses those all as part of the game, detecting where you are in the world and what kind of things you can then interact with, depending on where you are. Now, at its core, this app is really designed to encourage you to go and explore the cool things in your city. Uh, but it's a lot more than that. Monuments, historical markers, and all kinds of landmarks, they act as a focal point in the game. And uh, it's a great way or excuse to just go explore your city or explore a new city that you're in. Now, as far as actual gameplay goes, resource gathering is definitely a big part of the system. In order to gain resources, all you have to do is walk around and travel through the world. Now, hopefully that's something you're doing already, but this is definitely just an encouragement to do it more. Then, once you have the resources and you get to one of these nodes, one of these focal points, landmarks, things like that, uh, you can hack it and steal it from the enemy team, or you can shield it and keep it well defended. There's all kinds of different things that can happen to you and these nodes throughout the world. Now, what directs this experience is the assigned missions. You don't have to just go looking for things and hope you stumble upon them. Uh, there seem to usually be nodes to hack and defend all around you. So, you can just go downtown and go for a drive if you have some spare time and just start hacking. Now, it's this directed experience and this directed freedom, really, that, that will pull people in, I believe. Uh, things like geocaching, they can really require some work on your part, whereas Ingress allows you to find, essentially, virtual geocaches wherever you go. On the go, you can always feel like you're a part of this ever-changing world. And that being said, I mean, this game definitely sticks to the really important theme in successful mobile games. that You can play it anywhere. That really is essential, and, and I'm really excited about that fact about this game. Now, the idea of working secretly against other people, but not ho knowing who they are, is really exciting and intriguing. I mean, obviously, we live in a digital world, and we are on Facebook, and we're on video games on the computer and Xbox, and we don't know who our opponents are there. But having it be in the real world, having knowing our opponents could be right around the corner... It, while we're playing this game on our phone is really, really cool. I, I mean, you can go to work every day, make sure you capture nodes nearby when you're on breaks or even at your desk, and then you can go to lunch and find that the nodes you hacked at your favorite coffee, sh coffee shop was taken during the night by the enemy, you know? And what's scary is the enemy hacker could be right there in the coffee shop with you right then. Uh, <laughs> it's really, really intriguing, adds this total just like spy feeling to it. It's really cool. Uh, basically, this is the kind of mobile game that I really can get behind. I mean, you get to use the world you live in as a game space. You're assigned missions, you can choose to complete missions on your own time, and you're part of this living, persistent world. It, it changes daily. It's a game that actually uses the strengths and unique features of a mobile device to its advantage. Anybody can play Angry Birds or an Angry Birds type puzzle game on an Xbox or a PC, but you can't carry your Xbox around the city with you to collect the resources you need for your next hacking strike, so that's really, really cool. Another thing is, I mean, not only is this game exciting in itself, but think of the possibilities. Just think about what if Assassin's Creed 4 used this technology, or just the next Deus Ex or something, and you'd be assigned to, say, if you're Assassin's Creed 4, and you're assigned to maybe play as the Templars, or the assassins, you know, through the app, and then you had to attack and control nodes for your actual faction, for the Templars or the assassins. You know, then you could even upload your achievements and the different nodes you've hacked. You can upload them into the actual game when it comes out. It's it's such a cool idea, and there's just so much potential here. I mean, I just I really hope this app gets to take off. So sadly, I can't get the app because it's only on Android at the moment. Sources say it should be coming out on iOS sometime in the near future, uh, and I I can't wait. The app is free. So get it if you have an Android or tell your friends about it. I look forward to playing all of you when I do get it in the hidden world of Ingress.